My name is Carl Mobus. I'm from the U.S. and with my wife, we decided to move here eight years ago. We've moved a few times across the country, but now we reside in a small village on the outskirts of Bratislava. I currently work from my home office. When I've got the free time, I enjoy watching the news, creating things on my computer, and tinkering with my 3D printer. It gets quite cold here in the winter, but for the rest of the year, the temperature is quite pleasant. When it's a nice day, I enjoy chilling on the patio and tending to my garden. Of course, however, the weather wasn't the reason why we moved here. We originally moved here because we had no other choice at the time. I wasn't very gung-ho about the thought of moving here. Slovakia? Isn't that like Eastern Europe? However, I tried to keep an open mind. Let me tell you my story. Slovakia is certainly a different experience and a bit of a culture shock for someone coming from the States. When we originally settled here, we moved to my wife's hometown in central Slovakia. But for all I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere with a language and culture I knew almost nothing about. Barely anybody knew English, so I was helpless with communicating unless I had my wife there with me. It honestly was a bit isolating. Sometimes I found certain things to be strange or unconventional, like stores being closed on the weekends and minor holidays. These are just minor nitpickings, however. In the end, I learned to get along with the people just fine. Things like getting past the language barrier was as simple as keeping a positive attitude. Out of every bad experience I've had here, I could say I've had a dozen good ones. Looking back at it now and the current state of affairs in the United States, it might not have been the worst decision to actually have moved here. Slovakia, being a part of the EU since 2004, has rapidly developed since socialist times. The rate at which the economy and infrastructure has progressed since then is really quite remarkable. On top of having an affordable health care and education system, neither of which you could say about the United States. Where Slovakia really shines, however, is in its nature, sightseeing, cuisine, and folklore. You can bet my family and I have taken advantage of it. When it's summer, we love going on road trips and exploring the different castles and mountain trails that we can trek. And after a long hike up to the top, nothing was better than just sitting down at the Shalas, ordering some Brinzova Halushki and taking in the fresh mountain air. And if I was ever feeling a bit homesick, a good old burger was never a far taste away from home. Welcome to the games, the printing games. Some of the objects printed on the Voron, such as the William Falcon, Star Wars. This was printed in base mode, which is a continuous movement of the print head without having to lift up in a spiral. And a lighthouse. So as you can see, the inductive sensor is now probing four points on the bed. What this will do is, as it measures the distance from the steel plate to the top of the quad gantry, it determines how much each one of these Z-motors needs to adjust to make sure the entire Z-plane is level before printing. This printer is capable of printing ABS, PETG, and PLA. Mm -hmm. 